Converting log footage to Rec. 709 is one of the most basic things that you're gonna need to know how to do as a beginner colorist or just as somebody who's interested in shooting in a log or flat profile. And as luck would have it, DaVinci Resolve happens to have a few different methods that make that process super, super easy. So today I'm gonna to show you four of those. I've downloaded some clips from ArtGrid. They're all log footage. We're gonna convert them to Rec. 709. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Puget Systems. Look, you guys have heard me talk about Puget Systems for the last few months. You know how much I love those guys. But just in case you're new to the channel, Puget Systems builds custom PCs for live streamers and creatives and gamers, engineers, you name it. And all of their systems are completely custom made. They're tailored exactly for you. And the process is really easy. You just hop on a call with Puget and you tell them about your workflow and what you need out of your PC and they'll get to work designing a system that's custom made for exactly what you do. It's it's awesome. I've been using my custom PC from Puget for about eight months now and I have zero complaints. Everything works great. My render times in DaVinci Resolve are off the charts, but just in case something does break down, I do have that lifetime support that Puget Systems gives you with every custom build. So if you are a creative or a gamer or a live streamer or an engineer and you are looking for a PC that's gonna up your game and give you exactly what you need, then make sure you check out the link in my description. My description? Check out the link in the description of this video and uh, sign up for a call with Puget Systems today. They're super awesome, super knowledgeable. They'll get you started off on the right track. Thank you so much, Puget, for sponsoring this video. Now let's grade some footage. Now, like I said, I have four clips here from ArtGrid. They're all log footage. We're gonna convert them all to Rec. 709 using four different methods. But before we do that, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, of the four methods I'm gonna show you, three of them are gonna require you to know what camera your footage was shot on, and two of them are going to require that you are in DaVinci Resolve's color management system. So first, let's take a look at the ones that don't require the color management system. And those two methods are using a LUT and using the color space transform effect. Let's start off with the LUT. Now, most camera manufacturers, if they have cameras that shoot a log profile, they're going to have some sort of conversion LUT or utility LUT that will convert that log footage to a Rec. 709 look. And DaVinci Resolve actually has a whole bunch of those conversion LUTs just built in to the program. So all we have to do is come up here to LUTs and you can see that we've got a whole bunch. Some of these I added, but a lot of these came built in, including this red, which is going to be perfect for this clip right here, which was shot on a red dragon. So let's go ahead and grab our red log to Rec. 709 conversion LUT and drag that onto our node. We'll close out our LUTs menu. And now you'll see if I do a quick before and after, we've got log, we've got Rec. 709. Now, a quick pro tip is I would never ever put a conversion LUT on my very first node because then every correction that I make after that is going to be on the already converted footage. I'm not working with the whole canvas, so to speak. So what I wanna do is actually add a couple nodes before this. So let's go ahead and drag this node over. We're gonna right click and we're gonna do add node, add serial before. We go add node, add serial before. And now I've got a couple of nodes where I can do my primary corrections before the LUT is applied. So let's say I wanted to do white balance and saturation here. I could, first of all, let's label that. We'll go white balance and saturation. And then this one here I could use as exposure and contrast. I'm actually pretty happy with the exposure and contrast here, so I'm not gonna do anything there, but this very first node, white balance and saturation, you can see we've got a very, very uh, blue tint here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm this up, even out those reds and those blues in the parade. It's looking good right there. And then we're gonna bring some green out of there 
and that's looking pretty good right there. So again, before, here's our log footage. Then we added our LUT and then we did some white balance and saturation and now we've got a corrected image in a Rec. 709 look and we can go on and create our actual look for the video. Now, if you don't have a LUT that will convert from log to Rec. 709 for your specific camera, there's another effect in DaVinci Resolve called Color Space Transform that you can use. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're gonna use that on this clip of our snowboarder. This was shot on a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna add a couple nodes. We'll hit Alt S, Alt S, and then on this third node here, this is where we're gonna add our color space transform. So let's drag this onto the clip and we're just gonna come down to input color space and it's gonna be Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Film Gen 4 and then input gamma, same thing. Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Film Gen 4. You can see that made it super, super dark. So we can come to our exposure and contrast, come down into our color wheels and we'll just lift up our gamma. And that's looking pretty good, but there's a little bit of a green tint in here. So let's come into our white balance and saturation. And let's add a little bit of magenta. And let's cool this off a little bit. And now, once again, we've converted to Rec. 709 from our log footage. Let's go ahead and do Alt D to deactivate that. So we've got our log footage. We added our color space transform. Whoops. We added our color space transform. We corrected the exposure and we corrected the white balance. Now the next two methods I'm gonna show you are going to require you to be in the DaVinci Resolve color management system. So let's go ahead and go into our project settings. I'm gonna click on that little gear down there. We're gonna make sure we're in our color management and we're gonna come to color science and we're gonna change from DaVinci YRGB to DaVinci YRGB color managed. And then our Resolve color management preset, we're gonna change from SDR Rec. 709 to DaVinci Wide Gamut. Now DaVinci Wide Gamut is a larger color space. It's the largest color space that we've worked in so far. And it'll also give you all of the benefits of the HDR color wheels, which is what we're going to be using for one of our methods. So let's go ahead and click save. And you'll see when we did that, we actually dropped a lot of saturation here. So we're going to come down to our color wheels and we're gonna add our saturation back and bring our lift down a little bit. All right, let's come over to the clip of this girl walking. Let's find a quick hero frame here where she's in focus. That's looking good right there. Now this was shot on a Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini 4.6K. So let's go ahead and convert this to Rec. 709. Now we don't need any effects for this. We don't need any LUTs. What we're gonna do is just take advantage of that color management system. And we're going to tell DaVinci Resolve what this was shot on. So we're gonna right click on our clip. We're gonna come over to input color space. And we're gonna go to Blackmagic Design 4.6K Film Gen 3. Click on that. And we've officially converted to a Rec. 709 look. And let's switch over to our HDR color wheels and we're gonna take our global exposure and we're just gonna bring this down a little bit. Maybe bring our darks down. Add another node for white balance. We're gonna add a little bit of saturation here. And there we go. That by far is the easiest way to convert log footage to Rec. 709. Cause like I said, you don't need any LUTs. You don't need any effects or anything. You just tell DaVinci Resolve, here's the camera, here's the color space that this was shot in and DaVinci Resolve will do the rest. That is the beauty of the color management system in DaVinci Resolve. Now, let's say you don't know what camera your footage was shot on and you actually have to do everything manually, like with this 
clip right here. Now, I know this was shot on an A7S II, but let's say I didn't know that. I would be forced to color grade this manually. Now, traditionally, in the previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, you would either use curves to create that Rec. 709 look, or you just add contrast and saturation, or you'd use the color wheels. But in DaVinci Resolve 17, in DaVinci Wide Gamut, you can actually use the HDR color wheels to make this process much, much easier. Let me give you a quick tour of the HDR color wheels. So here we've got actually six different tonal ranges that we're working with. We've got black, dark, shadows, and then we've got light, highlight, and specular, and then we've got a global wheel. Now, if I come down here so you can see our shadows and our lights, our shadows will also affect our darks and our blacks, and our lights will affect our highlights and our specular highlights. And there's a little bit of an overlap between light and shadow. So when you use these wheels to add your contrast, there's actually a little bit of an overlap making a nice even roll off. It's super, super easy. So what we're going to do here is just use our HDR color wheels and we're gonna bring our shadows down They're starting to crush there, so we're gonna leave it right about there. And then we're gonna bring the exposure on our lights up. That's looking pretty good right there, but it's still very desaturated. That's another difference between the regular color wheels and the HDR color wheels, is it actually maintains the saturation level when you add contrast. So let's finish adding contrast here. We're gonna take our darks, and we're gonna bring them down a little bit. And now let's come over to global and let's add some saturation. Now, if we deactivate that node, we've got our log and we've got our Rec. 709. Now, if you at this point are confused and have no idea what log footage is and have no idea what Rec. 709 is, I actually made a video that will help you out a lot. You can check that out right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.